Alrighty guys, let's jump straight into today's topic. <laughs> Alright, so why is evidence so important? Today's video guys is all about the importance of evidence-based information. So if you've been following my journey for some time, you're probably very aware of my strong affiliation with the evidence-based and fitness coaching community. However, I have never delved specifically into the crucial question of why evidence plays such a vital role when it comes to dispensing training and nutrition advice. Today, I'd like to explore what evidence entails, why it holds so much or paramount importance, and why it's imperative always to seek evidence when evaluating claims. So what constitutes evidence? Well, evidence in essence comprises the accumulated body of factual information that substantiates whether a hypothesis or a proposition holds true or possesses validity. In simpler terms, evidence is the proof that supports the accuracy of statements, demonstrating that they have been independently verified and replicated beyond one's own assertions. But let's discuss navigating the sea of differing opinions. So just within the fitness industry, it's abundantly clear that a multitude of conflicting opinions and perspectives exists on virtually every conceivable topic ranging from the optimal training split for hypertrophy to the merits of consuming vegetables and yes this debate actually exists so the majority of these opinions and views are in essence just that their opinions. They often rely solely on personal experience or the guidance of a respected source within the industry. And regrettably, many of these viewpoints and even those with influencer status lack the underpinning of rigorous research or solid evidence to validate their claims. Also guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more educational videos just like this one. All right, let's get back into it. So why does this matter? When there is no requirement to substantiate the veracity of what one claims or demonstrate that these claims are supported by evidence that have been confirmed by other independent parties or party, it becomes easy to propagate statements and opinions that align with personal biases without facing any consequences. So at first glance, this may not seem particularly harmful. However, when individuals with substantial followings, such as influencers and non-evidence-based coaches, make these audacious claims on various subjects, their large and impressionable audiences often accept these statements as truths without critical scrutiny, perceiving them as authoritative figures. This can result in the dissemination of potentially harmful advice for practices throughout the entire industry. For example, individuals might exclude fruits from their diets due to unfounded fears about sugar content or they might adopt an approach such as the carnivore diet as a proponent for weight loss and longevity despite the risks of nutritional deficiencies that it entails so should you always seek evidence absolutely so the resounding imperative is to consistently seek out evidence to validate the claims that you encounter particularly when they veer away from the realm of conventional wisdom. The importance of collecting evidence transcends far beyond the boundaries of the health and fitness industry. It encompasses critical practices like fact-checking before spreading gossip and ensuring the utmost accuracy of information when making pivotal decisions that span various aspects of your life. While as always, exceptions may exist, fostering the habit of critically scrutinizing statements and actively pursuing evidence to either substantiate or debunk them can enrich your life across all domains, extending well beyond the confines of fitness and nutrition. And lastly, remember this crucial principle. When a statement or claim contradicts not only conventional wisdom, but also an established and peer-reviewed research paper, then the onus rests squarely on the person making the claim to furnish evidence substantiating its validity. In the absence of such evidence, you have every reason to cast doubt in the accuracy of that statement. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget if you liked this video and you found it helpful, subscribe to my channel and take a look into the description below for where you can learn more about what we've talked about today along with all my other products and services. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.